Hi, she was seven. I'm back. Yes, I know it's been a minute, but I just had to pop on today and kind of uh, do a video for you. Um, so I've been like seeing lots of women getting pregnant and then expecting a ring. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all, y'all are going backwards. Um, <laughs> To get pregnant first and then expect the man to marry you is almost is is actually it's it's triple harder <laughs> is I mean to get the ring after you already had the child okay so what I suggest not having someone's baby unless you are married why because I think I've covered this so many times but I have so many women coming to me asking me how they get their baby daddy to act right to marry them to come back to them while they're pregnant because oh we had an argument and now he's gone and now I'm pregnant so I get like five of these a week y'all okay this is ridiculous um, if you're not good enough to marry then you are not good enough to have this man's child if he's not taking you seriously as a wife but he trusts you to raise his child that says a lot about his character you know um, how many other women has he done this to are you the only one you know are you gonna have to fight for attention from the other children and the other baby mamas okay this is a problem among many young women today and I'm tired of hearing about it because why because it can be avoided it can totally be avoided okay if you are laying up in bed with this dude and he tries to talk you into having a baby and giving you all this pillow talk oh I want a baby with you that is not a compliment ladies that is not a declaration of love that's a trap okay it's a trap and it's silly. It's low class also. Like to say, okay, let's have a baby. N didn't talk about a ring, didn't talk about a marriage, didn't talk about a future. Let's nice have a baby. Anybody can get you pregnant. It's called sperm, okay? Can you get a husband? That's a challenge, okay? Can you get a husband? Is this man sitting up here sweet talking your ear so he doesn't have to wear a condom, okay? Is this man sitting here sweet talking your ear so he has a place to live? Okay? Please, ladies, be smart. A lot of you guys are smart, have degrees, been to college, have masters, have doctorates. But when it comes to men, you are not smart at all. You let these people walk all over you, treat you like trash, and then leave you and then don't want to marry you even though you've had their children now I'm not speaking about anyone in particular because I like I said I get five of these emails a week with the same issue I'm pregnant is he coming back he left da, da, da. you're not the only one and I know a lot of people think that I'm speaking directly to you the reason I made the video is because I get five of these a week <laughs> and it's getting out of hand so ladies if you're not good enough to marry you're not you're not good enough to have this person's child so lock it up like like um, Medea says clink clink you don't need to have any man's child who does not want you as his wife I understand accidents happen and things like that but if it was an accident then you should already know that he was not selecting you as the wife and by getting you pregnant that's not how that works okay so if you're moving in that direction you know backwards don't expect the same treatment don't expect the same loyalty don't expect the same extravagance don't expect the same type of respect as someone who's willing to make that man commit before bringing his offspring onto the planet okay and when I say that a child is a gift Okay, a child is a gift. If you're going to give a man that gift, he needs to make you his wife first. Okay, I know a lot of women do this backwards to try to keep a man or impress a man or make them feel special, but that's not how you do that because in the end, you're left alone. He's moved on to someone else, telling them he wants to have the uh, 
telling them he wants him to have their baby and now you're one of the baby mamas among the many okay I don't know why women fall for this it's the oldest trick in the book I would never fall for it I would laugh in that person's face <laughs> I'd be like you want me to have your baby okay what do you have do you have college education money for your baby do you have a nice house for your baby do you have a nice car for me and the baby to ride in do you have uh, money to pay all the bills because I'm not working these are my questions before any man wants me to have his baby okay not because oh it'll be sweet and I'll take care of it and we're gonna be together I don't believe nothing that comes out of any man's mouth all I believe is numbers on paper if you can't show me numbers on paper if you can't show me a ring if you can't show me the numbers on the marriage license paper after we married I don't want you like there's nothing you can promise me that I can't get myself unless it's commitment and a document okay so no I don't care what any man tells you when he's pillow talking you most of it 99% of it are lies and if you believe it you're very gullible and probably are going to pay the price later on now what if you've already done this okay fine don't repeat it okay don't repeat it and don't expect that man to marry you because he already told you your place baby mama not wife okay I'm gonna leave this at that if you're expecting a ring if you're expecting marriage if you're expecting all those things why are you special and not the other baby mamas think about it the only person that gets you know the ring is the one who holds the power okay you hold no power if you're tied down with this man's child and he's not even in the picture anymore he holds the power you got to chase him down for child support you got to chase him down to get a, a DNA test to even get child support and he doesn't even have to respond to you he can you know go out of town you're gonna be chasing this man for years and years you know this is sad now a smart woman wouldn't have this problem she'd be like okay well you know what um I'm not having your baby or even if you're already pregnant and it's not too late to use your rights to choose whether you want to have this child or not you know I would never have a baby by a loser why because that baby's life is going to be a challenge from the start and I would never bring life onto the planet if it's not going to be you know something that's easy Okay, I'm not going to challenge myself and raise someone's kid who doesn't want anything to do with us because I fell for some pillow talk. No, I'm going to I'm going to keep going in my life and become successful and then I'll be able to choose the type of father I want for my child and the type of husband I want to marry to be the father to that child. Okay? A lot of women don't think you have options. Like you don't you, you, some of you women Y'all don't feel like y'all have options, so y'all settle for just any old nasty thing that slithers up to you, okay? No, you have options. You have to set the bar. You set your standards so low, you get trash. And that's not right. Set your standards high. Everyone else's standards are high, okay? Set them high. They will have to reach them, or else they don't get it at all. Okay, set your standards high. Don't set them down here. Anybody can reach that, okay? anything can reach that that's not a challenge okay if you value yourself if you love yourself set your standards high okay so I, I say stop doing this because the the rate that this is happening there's not going to be a such thing as a, a marriage anymore for a certain group of women and you know who you are okay so I'm gonna say peace um, you know, having a ring is not marriage. Having a marriage license is marriage, okay? Having a ring is nothing. I have a ring. I can go buy a ring, okay? But I can show you a marriage uh, certificate, and I can show you uh, deeds and properties, and I can show you all of that. But what I can't show you is common sense. I can only express, you know, to make better decisions please make better decisions okay the man is not going to fulfill all the promises he said to you laying naked in bed okay that's called pillow talk pillow talk 
is to get what they want at the time and never follow through on it later, okay? Many women have become a victim of pillow talk. I don't listen to anything anyone says while they're naked because none of it's true, okay? Let me see what you're talking about when we're sitting at a table with all of our clothes on, with bank statements, with preparations for marriage, with a wedding planner. Let's see what we're talking about then because I don't believe anything anyone says. And ladies, you have to get like this. You have to pretend that, oh yeah, whatever, whatever, that's nice. Thank you for saying those nice things. Now let me see some action, okay? Let's see some action. Let me see some action. Uh, let's make an appointment at the courthouse if you want to get married so bad for me to have your child. Uh, let's get married first and then I'll get pregnant by you, okay? Let's do that first. Oh, but before we get married, you know I'm not working once I get pregnant, right? So do you have the means to take care of, of a family? If the answer is no, I will never dare have your child. Why? Because you're not ready for a child. You're not ready for a wife. You don't, you're, you're not responsible. So I can't. I'm sorry. You know, that's how you do that. You don't just go, hee -ha, okay, I have your baby. And then once he finds out you're pregnant, you have some argument because now you're jealous. Of everything because you can't go out and do nothing no more because you're pregnant and then you run that person off or they leave you for the next one now you're stuck single and pregnant and now what what's your next move try to get him back hope and pray he comes back <laughs> you know threaten him with um, child support what's what's the next move I don't know for me I'm gonna get everything straight before we even lay in the bed okay I'm sorry, that's just how I am. Business first. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye.